Good morning, class. Today is Tuesday, April the 27th. Yesterday was the 26th. Today is the 27th. And if today is Tuesday, what was yesterday? Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. And what will tomorrow be? Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. We know that it's spring, but today it's a nice bright sunny day. So let's put that in. It's sunny today. And our year, of course, is 2021. Let's put that all together. Today is Tuesday, April the 27th, 2021. And let's stand for O Canada. Are you ready? Standing straight, arms at your side. The Canadian National to celebrate all Looking straight ahead. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all our sons command. With glowing hearts we see the right, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God keep our land, glorious and free. O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Wonderful, and I sure do miss hearing your beautiful voices singing that together, but I'm imagining how it sounds when you're standing at attention singing it at home. Well, let's thank Jesus for our new day. Dear Lord, thank you for the sun coming through the window. Thank you that we have comfy homes, and thank you that there's many new things to learn. Each day is a new opportunity to learn. Help us to do our best and to en enjoy what we're learning and to make the best of what's going on around us, even though we can't be in the classroom together. Let's help us each one to do our best where we are. And we thank you that you are with us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, in our devotions this week, um, our memory verse is, Therefore, each one of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor. We know our neighbor can be anyone, for we are all members of one body. We're all part of different families, our own family in our home, our church family, our school family, our neighborhood, and we want people to tell us the truth, so we want to tell them the truth so they can trust us. Let's try that again. Therefore, each one of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all part of one family or one body. And that is found in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 25. So keep practicing that each day. And our story for today is called The Lie Trap. This is an interesting story about how lies can trap you like a spider web can trap you. You can get more and more tangled up when you start by telling a lie. So um, I hope you enjoy reading that at home and learning some lessons from that. 
maybe even taking a walk in nature to look at some spider webs. And moving on from there, for language today, JKs, you are working on your uppercase T craft page. And it's kind of a fun page. We've got a frog, and we know frogs have long, ta long uh, tongues to catch flies. So I've put some pink construction paper in there for you to make a long tongue coming out of the frog's mouth. And then at the end of the long tongue, you can make some flies by coloring your fingertip with a marker, a black marker, pressing it on the end of the tongue, and putting some wings on the finger mark to make wings on the fly. So your finger mark will be the fly's body, and then you can draw some wings on it. And you're making the finger mark by coloring your finger with a marker. And on the back, you can see a, a picture of how that works out. Color the frog green and the grass and the water blue. The rock can be brown. You can color the tea whatever color you want and have fun with that. And then for the SKs, so that was the JKs. For the SKs, most of you are doing a lowercase t page. Some of you have some other ones that you didn't do maybe because you were absent that day. So whatever pages I've put in there for you to do. But the lowercase t page, you are connecting the dots to make a tent. T -t -t tent. Color the moon and the stars yellow. And the lowercase t, whatever color you want. So color that picture with your best coloring. And of course, SKs, when you're done that, you're going to do your cut and paste page where you are cutting out pictures that start with the sound of the letter T or whatever page you're working on and glue three of them into the boxes and the one that doesn't start with that letter sound, you're going to throw it out. So for instance, horse. Horse, does that start with T? What does it start with? Yes, that starts with an H, so we would not glue that in one of the boxes. I'll let you go ahead and complete that. So that is our language for today. And for math, we are filling, filling in numbers. We're still working on writing, counting, and learning our numbers from 1 to 20. So JKs, you have a fill in the number sheet where there's missing numbers, you're going to fill in the blanks. SKs, you have a fill in the number page from your workbook. Fill in the missing numbers. And you have two pages to do. On the other side of your page, you're filling in the numbers in the smoke that's coming out of the chimney. So 11 blank 13. What comes after 11? 11, 12, 13. What comes next in the next blank? 11, 12, 13, 14, and so on. Let's practice together on the board, filling in missing numbers. So SKs, if yours started at 1, and then it had a 2, and then it had two more blanks, and then it had a 5, what would we put before the 2? So 1 less than 2, or 1 before 2, and of course that is 1. 1, 2, and one more than two, or one after two. And of course that would be three, and what comes after three, four, and five. So on our fingers, that would look like one, and then of course one more is two, and one more is three, and one more is four, and one more is five. So you're filling in blanks on your page. SKs, you have rows with different numbers in the rows. And they don't all start 
with 1. The first row starts with 8. So we have 8 and then 9. And then there's two blanks. So they get, they've given you 8 and 9. So if we're counting and we're starting at 8, 8, 9, and one more, what comes after 9? 10. And one more, what comes after 10? 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, I'm not sure you can see that. Let me move it over a bit. Sorry about that. There we go. So, let's do that over again. SKs, they've given you 8 and 9, and the next two were blank. So, if we start counting from 8, we move on to 9. 8, 9, what's one more than 9? Of course, we would have 10. 8, 9, 10, what's more than 10? Of course, we would have 11. So I know you'll have no problem doing that. And then on the other side, you've got some smoke clouds coming out of the house. Here's your house. And it starts at the number 11. What comes after 11? 12. 13, and then there's more clouds to fill in. Okay, JK, so let's do a little explanation of yours again because I don't think you could see it because I didn't have the whiteboard pulled over. So your page is going to look something like this one. Oops. There we go. So at the bottom, we can see that there's a blank, and then a two, another blank, a four and a five, then another blank, and it's going all the way up to 20. Let's do the first row for you. So it has a blank, and then a two, and then another blank, and a three, and Let's do a blank here. Okay. So if there was a blank at the beginning when we're counting, what's our first number? One. Two. What's more, one more than two? Three. And then a four. What's one more than four? Five. So you need to, to count and then figure out what number comes in the empty box. For instance, if we have five fingers, we start with one, the next one is two, three, four, and five. I know you'll have no problem with that, but see if you can challenge yourself and go all the way to 20. All right, I'll let you uh, work on that. So that was our math for today. We're practicing our numbers, counting from 1 to 20. Let's, let's count together and see if we can count from 1 to 20. 1, we'll use our calendar up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. You did it! And we know that 20 is 10 two times, or two groups of 10. So 10 fingers, and then 10 fingers again, two groups of 10. 10 and 20. So keep practicing, and I know 
that you'll get that memorized counting from 1 to 20. Okay, now we're going to move on. That was our ma. And today, um, you can work on your French if you haven't. And Mrs. Uh, Miss Cat sent some French worksheets for you online, so you should find them. Mom or Dad can find them for you and have fun with those. And Mrs. Peddler sent some songs and poems for us to practice, spring songs and poems. So let's take a little stretch break right now and practice those. Let's practice our song, April Showers. Everyone standing up. Pitter-pattering drops falling from the sky. Here's my umbrella, hold it up high. When the rain is over, the sun begins to glow. Little flowers start to bud, then grow, grow, grow. So you're going to pretend the rain is coming down with your fingers. It's falling from the sky. You're going to pretend you have an umbrella, hold it up high. When the rain is over and the sun, make a great big sun with your hands, begins to shine. And get down really low, little flowers start to bud like you're a sprout and then grow, grow, grow. And our poem, A Little Seed. A little seed for me to grow. You can pretend you have a tiny little seed. A little seed to make it grow. A little hole, pretend you're poking a hole into the soil. A little pat. A little wish, and that is that. A little sun, again, pretend there's sun. A little shower. A little while. And then a flower. Let's try that again. A little seed for me to sow. A little seed to make it grow. A little hole, pretend you're putting a hole in the soil. A little pat, smoothing it over. A little wish, and that is that. A little sun, a little shower, a little while, and then a flower. So the words are there for you to practice that, and we know if we practice a little bit every day, before we know it, we have it memorized. And then the song, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. You can pretend you're hiding. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. And we'll keep practicing those together and you can keep practicing them at home. Mrs. Pedler included some videos online for you to, to help practice those songs and poems. Have fun with those and you can get up now and uh, go to the bathroom if you need to or do whatever you need and when we come back we'll finish our story why mosquitoes buzz in people's ears. Be back shortly. All right, well, we left our story yesterday with different animals blaming other animals for why the baby owl was squished. Remember, it was turning out to be quite a disaster with all the animals blaming the other ones and nobody knowing what was going on. Well, at last King Lion called a meeting of all the animals. They came and sat down, pem, 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 
around a council fire. Mother Owl did not come, so the antelope was sent to fetch her. I'm sure she was worried, and that's why she didn't come. When she arrived, King Lion asked, Mother Owl, why have you not called the sun to shine? The night has lasted long, 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 and everyone is worried. Mother Owl said, Monkey killed one of my owlets. Because of that, I cannot bear to wake the sun. The king said to the gathered animals, Did you hear? It was the monkey who killed the owlet. And now Mother Owl won't make the sun shine so that the day can come. Then King Lion called the monkey. He came before him nervously, thinking he was going to get in trouble, glancing from side to side. Monkey, said the king, why did you kill one of Mother Owl's babies? Oh, king, said the monkey, it was the crow's fault. He was calling and calling to warn us of danger, and I went leaping through the trees to help. A limb broke underneath me, and I fell on the owl's nest. The king said to the council, so it was the crow who alarmed the monkey who killed the owlet, and now Mother Owl won't make the sun shine so that the day can come. And there's all the animals mixed up, one blaming the other. Nobody knows what's going on. Then the king called for the crow. The big bird came flapping up. He said, King Lion, it was the rabbit's fault. I saw her running for her life in the daytime. Wasn't that reason enough to spread an alarm? The king nodded his head and said, head and said to the council, so it was the rabbit who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet, and now Mother Owl won't make the sun shine so that the day can come. There is the rabbit racing in alarm. Here's the crow cawing out an alarm. Here's the monkey. All the animals are all upset. The king lion called the rabbit this time. The timid little creature stood before him, one trembling paw drawn up uncertainly. Rabbit, cried the king, why did you break a law of nature and go running, running, running in the daytime? Oh, king, said the rabbit, it was the python's fault. I was in my house minding my own business when that big snake came in and chased me out. And there's that scary python. And there's the rabbit who was scared by the python, chased out of her own home. The king said to the council, so it was the python who scared the rabbit, who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet. And now Mother Owl won't make the sun so that the day can come. King Lion called the python, who came slithering whoosah, whoosah, past the other animals. But King, he cried, it was the iguana's fault. He wouldn't speak to me, and I thought he was plotting some mischief against me. When I crawled into the rabbit's hole, I was only trying to hide. Then the king said to the council, so it was the iguana who frightened the python, who scared the rabbit, who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet, and now Mother Owl won't make the sun, wake the sun so that the day can come. Now the iguana was not at the meeting, for he had not heard the summons. The antelope was sent to fetch him. All the animals laughed when they saw the iguana coming, with the sticks still stuck in his ears. Look, he still had those e sticks in his ears because his feelings were hurt and he didn't want to talk to anyone because he thought that the python was ignoring him. But he didn't bother to talk to the python to find out why he didn't talk to him. Sometimes we need to stop and talk to people to find out what they're thinking instead of automatically saying, oh, they don't like me and they're ignoring me. K 
King Lion pulled out the sticks. Then he asked Iguana, What evil have you been plotting against the python? None, none at all, cried the Iguana. Python is my friend. Then why wouldn't you say good morning to me, demanded the snake. So finally, they're talking to each other. I didn't hear you or even see you, said the Iguana. Mosquito told me such a big lie, I couldn't bear to listen to it, so I put sticks in my ears. So the Iguana was mad at the mosquito and put sticks in his hear ears. Then he couldn't hear the python, and the python thought that the iguana was mad at him. So each animal was blaming the other ones instead of talking, and they all thought that each one was mad at them. <sighs> so that's why you had sticks in your ears. Yes, said the iguana. It was the mosquito's fault. King Lion said to the council, so it was the mosquito who annoyed the iguana, who frightened the python, who scared the rabbit, who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlette, and now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so that the day can come. Instead of figuring out the problem, they're all making the problem worse. Do you think the sun will ever shine again? Punish the mosquito! Punish the mosquito! cried all the animals. When Mother Owl heard that, she was satisfied. She turned her head toward the east and hooted, Hoo! 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 And the sun came up. You can see all the bright colors. The sun is coming up. Meanwhile, the mosquito had listened to it all from a nearby bush. She crept under a curly leaf and was never found and brought before the council. But because of this mosquito, has a guilty conscience. To this day, she goes about whining in people's ears. Zzz, is everyone still angry at me? When she does that, she gets an honest answer. And there she is buzzing in someone's ear. And what does the person do? Slops at her. Kapow! So, are people still angry with mosquitoes? Yes, most people don't like mosquitoes because they annoy them by stinging them. Now, of course, this is a made-up story. But I think it has a lesson for us. Sometimes when we're upset about something, we need to talk about it instead of just getting angry and blaming and thinking that people don't like us and getting more and more people upset like the animals did. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story, and uh, we are looking forward to the warm weather when the mosquitoes come, even though we don't like the mosquitoes. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and evening, and tomorrow we'll gather together again. What day will it be? Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Bye for now.